Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs, the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly. I have been selling print-on-demand on platforms such as Etsy, Merch by Amazon, Amazon Seller Central, and Redbubble um, for a couple of years now. And I'd like to kind of share not only things about design, but also about some of the platforms and, and print-on-demand as a whole. So if this is something that you're interested in, uh, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications and stick around for some great videos. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It says in April, we wear blue for autism awareness. I'm going to show you how to create this design. I'm also going to show you how you can use this design as a template to create additional designs for other causes and other months, essentially how you can use this design and just change the colors and the wording so that it will say in March, we wear green for cerebral palsy awareness and so on and so forth. Um, so it's an easy technique that you can do and I'll show you how we're able to crop the rainbows so that we could put some writing in here. So if this is something that you're interested in learning how to do, uh, be sure to stick around. So as always, we're gonna start with our blank backdrop. I am going to go ahead and select black for the background color. That's just the way I prefer to design. So I'm going to select black. And so for this video, we're going to go over um, different, different rainbow um, designs that we can do. So you may have seen some of the designs that say in April, we wear blue for autism awareness. Those designs you'll see repeated on several different types types of causes. For example, you could put in October where we wear pink for breast cancer awareness, or in March we wear green for cerebral palsy awareness. Also for March we wear orange for uh, multiple sclerosis awareness. So there's all sorts of awareness things and I'm sure you've seen a lot of the different rainbow type designs. I'm going to show you how to make one of those and then I'm going to show you how you can use it as a template to make um, ones for other other uh, months or other awareness campaigns. So the first thing you need is a rainbow and you can pick any rainbow that you like. If you've got one saved, that's fine. I'm gonna show you how you can use Canva. So up here, I just did a search for rainbow and I put it in graphics. And so you'll see there's a lot of different rainbows that you can use. I like to select one where I can select the colors. Um, so I'll kind of show you an example of that. So here's one where I can select the different colors up here. So I can make this rainbow any color I want. So for example, if I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one to show you, let's say we're gonna do the autism one since it is autism month, it's April right now. So we're gonna go with blues. I'm gonna keep the white lines here. I do like that, but everything else, I'm gonna go with a shade of blue. So I'm just going to start at the middle. I'm going to pick a blue that I like. And that's pretty bright, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Next, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to pick a darker shade of blue. And then I'm going to go with this outside one here. I'm going to pick an even darker shade of blue. I might make it a little bit lighter because it's kind of going to get lost on the backdrop here if we go too dark, but I can bring that brighter or, you know, I can play with the shades obviously. So I can make it a nice light blue like that kind of looks cool. And then lastly, I've got the little hearts here. Now I can make those white. That kind of looks cool. Or if I wanted to go with another shade of blue, I can do that. So you can kind of play with however you like it. But once you have your rainbow the way that you want it, what we're gonna do is save this rainbow as an image because then we can work with it a lot more and use some of the photo editing effects and, and cropping and other things with it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna save this. So I am going to download it as a PNG on a transparent background and give it a second to download and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so there it is, it has downloaded. Once I have it, I can just whoop, move that one out of the way and I'm gonna put this one right up here. Okay, so it's loading here. You can see, give it a second to load and then we'll, we'll kind of show you what we can do with it. Let's crop it here, perfect. Okay, 
So I'm gonna put it whatever size I want. And to make it easy, kind of like it like that. Once I've got it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it. So I am going to click Control D. Oops. There we go. And it's just gonna duplicate one right on top of the other. Okay. And I'm gonna line them up so that they're perfectly aligned now. So you can't see, but there's literally one right on top of the other. And once we have these the way that we want them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the, uh, the top one and I'm gonna crop it over almost halfway through. So just short of the hearts here. So the one on top is now cropped right here. And now I'm gonna take the one on the bottom, which is on this side, and I'm gonna pull it up to right about yay high. And so that's how you can take out just part of the uh, rainbow. And I mean, you can play with this however you want. If I wanted to bring it all the way up here, I could. I don't really wanna do that. I'm gonna come way down here and you know, I can play with it wherever I want. I'm gonna come just right here, so I'm right over this little heart here because I don't want it to get cut in half. And now that I have that, I'm gonna put some text. So I'm gonna hit T for a text box, and for this one, we're gonna go with in April. Um, let's, do, let's do all caps here. So in April, and I'm gonna make the text white so that we can see it. And it's gonna come down here. Here. Now we're going to pick a font. This is kind of like a hand drawn kid looking design. So I'm going to pick a font that goes with that. So again, if I come up here, I can put handwriting, I can put kids, um, you can put rounded. Those are all good ones that you can just kind of search through. Um, I'm going to go with handwriting or handwritten, doesn't matter, handwriting. And it is going to give you, you know, some kind of kid-like designs. I want something that's a little bit rounded. That one looks really cool right there. I kind of like that, the in April there. And actually, I kind of do like that one. I might just bring it down a little bit. Perfect, okay. And I'm gonna hit another text box. So now it's going to be we wear blue and that is the next line and i can keep the same font or i can create a new font it doesn't matter it depends how you like to do it um i do kind of want the in april to be a little bit bigger so i might change that font actually make that one a little bit thicker so you can see right there how we can do something like that. That one looks pretty cool. So I have in April, we wear blue. Bring that down. And then I'm gonna add one more text box for, uh, and it's gonna be autism awareness. For autism awareness. And so that is pretty cool the way we did that. A little smaller here. I'd like it to line up. There we go. So you have a design here that says, in April, we wear blue for autism awareness. I can, you know, make some of these pop a little bit. So if I wanna just highlight autism and maybe select one of these blue, something bright, something like that. We wear blue. I can make the blue blue if I want to. So again, I can do again, something like that. And so then you have a cool design it says in April, we wear blue for autism awareness. Now this makes a really cool template because what we can do here is play with this template. So what I mean by that is if let's say I wanted to, let me download it first and then I'll show you, I wanna save this. So I'll just save transparent background. Perfect. Now actually 
Uh, assuming you have Canva Pro, which if you're doing uh, print on design t-shirt demanding, you should absolutely have Canva Pro. What we can do is we can take this entire design and we can copy it or, or make a copy. So if you come up to Canva Pro and we hit resize and you put custom size, same size, 4,500 by 5,400, you can click that and it'll say copy and resize. Perfect. So now what we have here is an exact copy, but it's not gonna hurt our original. Our original is still up here and it has been saved. I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. I'll put it back and I'm gonna come right up here to my copy. So now that we have our copy, we can go ahead and play with the colors. So let's say that I want this to be now a CP design and CP is green in March. So I want my rainbow to be green now. I can just come up here to edit image and I can now use the photo effects on it. So there's duotone. I don't really like that because it's going to change the backdrop and then I'm going to have to do background removal. It's a little bit tougher, but what I can do is come down here to color mix. Color mix will not interfere with the background. So if I do color mix and let's say I put on amethyst, which is a greener color, you can see right there, it's going to make it green and you can play with the saturation of just how green you want it. If you want it more of a kind of dull or something really vibrant. And so that's green. Now up here, I can change the color. So where it says hue right now, it's kind of, it's kind of sitting on a green hue, but if I pull it down, I can make it orange. So let's say I want it to be for MS. It's green here. I can keep going. It's back to blue. I can keep going purple. You know, I can come all the way over here and it can be, you know, pink for breast cancer month. And so this is how we would go ahead and just literally change the design for whatever we want. So let's say I come right back over here and I'm going to stick with green, all right? So saturations at zero. Let's say I bring the saturation up a little bit. Saturations at 0.3, hue is at negative 0.6. I can repeat that process for the other part <laughs> of the um, of the uh, rainbow here. So again, I can just hit amethyst and it actually saved it at my exact settings that I had. So that's just perfect. And so now I have a rainbow. It can say in April, this time I want it to say in March. So in March, I'm going to have to make that a little bit smaller for it to fit. There we go. In March, we wear, this is now going to say green. Again, it's a little longer, so I got to shrink it down to make it fit a little bit more. We wear green for, this is definitely gonna be a lot longer because we're gonna go cerebral palsy. For cerebral palsy awareness. Actually what I could do is just make that bigger like that. Change the line spacing. And then now I'm just gonna take the blue and we're gonna go ahead and make it a green. And so I can pick any of these greens up here that I like. I can make it a light green, dark green, however I want. And again, cerebral palsy, I can make that green. Boom. And there we have it. Now we have the next design. It says, in March, we wear green for cerebral palsy awareness. So pretty easy. Um, another note, if you don't like the way that this is cut off because it is kind of a sharp cut off, you can always hide that by putting some sort of an image in front of it. So let's say I just want to put like a cloud there. I can always come up here to elements and search for cloud. And, you know, filter by graphics and I can find any kind of cloud that I think might look good and it can just cover up the bottom if I wanted to. So if I wanted to like literally put a cloud like that, um, you know, I could, and then I could bring March down or I could bring the, uh, the rainbow up a little bit higher. 
So let's say I wanted the cloud to sit here and keep March here. And then I could just take my whole design and bring it up here. <laughs> and so you can see how you could do something like that. I, um, and you'd have to play around, figure out what you like and what you don't like. But the point is, is that there's there's definitely different ways that we could hide the cutoff if you wanted to, if you said, ooh, that's a sharp cutoff. But you just have to be creative, but there you go. And so now you can take this exact same um, template. We could do the same thing. We could come up, we could copy it and repeat the process for different months. And so that is how you would make a rainbow design um, for, for different months and be able to just use a template and, and just change the colors and the wording to make, it, uh, to make it work. Using templates is a really good time-saving uh, device. You don't wanna have to recreate the image every time you do a design. It's gonna take a lot of time. If you are doing print on demand and you're you're doing a large volume of designs, you wanna be able to make them quickly. Templates will allow you to do that if you can just take that one design, copy it, make a few alterations, and then you know, upload it. And so this is one way that we can go ahead and do that. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. That's it for today. If you'd like to see more videos, um, be sure to uh, hit subscribe. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.